Hello everybody, Newborn Kilik here, welcoming you back to another awesome Zelda theory. Today I have a short and sweet Zelda theory about the Iron Knuckles and a couple of my ideas regarding them. However, I don't want you to think this is a one-way street. I want to know what your opinions are of my theories and of the Iron Knuckles in general. Do you have any theories about the Iron Knuckles? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, let's get right into it. So first off, we should note what an Iron Knuckle is. Now, Iron Knuckles have actually existed in many forms. Sometimes they are a boss monster, like in the Adventure of Link, Zelda 2, if you will. Most of the time, they are mini-bosses. They're kind of in that power range of mini boss however sometimes they are seen as low as just powerful common enemies and as we see in Majora's Mask a couple times so let's just take a look right at this description here and see what we can find out about the Iron Knuckles so the Iron Knuckle according to the Adventure of Link which is the manual description that I'm going to be referencing for most of this and where I'm getting a lot of these ideas from states the following Iron Knuckle an iron warrior chosen by the king, a strong enemy who can use a shield and sword. He exists in many forms. So that's kind of a far cry from the Iron Knuckle that we know today. You know, the, the big armor clad uh, axe wielding guy, usually as he's seen in the 3D games, he used to wield a shield and sword. But it's the line at the end that says he exists in many forms. And we'll get back to that in just a little bit. Now, admittedly, that quote could refer to the fact that there are actual multiple different colors of Iron Knuckles in The Adventure of Link. But if we take this a little bit further, it actually opens up a lot of doors as to what the Iron Knuckles actually are. But I wanted to get you kind of thinking about that quote, he exists in many forms, as we go through this theory. So first, I want to go through some of the more common theories about Iron Knuckles. And there's really only one. Not a lot of people are apparently thinking about Iron Knuckles nearly as much as I am. But they seem like such an awesome enemy, it seems like a shame that there's not a little bit more coverage on them. But anyway, there's really only one common theory surrounding Iron Knuckles, and that is based off of the fact that if you actually clip the camera into an Iron Knuckles armor, then you will see the model of a Gerudo. There's a lot of counterplay to this, unfortunately. There's not really any concrete evidence. This You're not really supposed to see in there. But a lot of people, this makes a lot of people believe that maybe all Iron Knuckles, at least in the 3D Zelda, Zelda games, are Gerudo. This is backed up by the fact that they all have a very feminine shape once you remove most of their armor and they're kind of in their, you know, their faster state of combat. And to be honest, this theory does hold a little bit of weight. There are some points that I'll go into very shortly that will actually allow us to see why this might be the thing. So we've already covered the model under the armor. It's based off of Nobu-ru, or at least it seems to be based off of Nobu-ru, just a very low poly version of it, like a lower quality version of Nobu-ru's model. I mean, this makes some sense because they would be Ganon's most loyal followers. Remember when I said, an iron warrior chosen by the king? However, if you note the wording there, it doesn't say which king, it just says the king. Now, a lot of sites will say the king of Hyrule, and to be fair, this makes a lot of sense. He would have the power and the money to create all these suits of armor, which, by the way, can cost thousands of dollars for a single suit of armor. So he would definitely have the money. But bear in mind, Gendorf is also considered a king. So the fact that the Iron Knuckles usually don't attack you until you attack them kind of makes it one way or the other. It, it, it's very, very questionable as to which quote unquote king they're talking about. The Iron Knuckles are usually seen as evil, but I can't, to my recollection, think of one that attacks you as the player first. Usually you have to activate them. At that point, they're just fighting in self-defense. They kind of remind me of like a sentry of sorts. You know, they're, they're always there and they're just kind of waiting for a problem to come up. Now, it's not impossible that a human being would have that sort of patience, but let me introduce you to my theory for today. These are not actually humans or Hellions inside of these you know suits of armor they're just kind of like golems they're entities they're one simple hive mind of you know they just have the bare minimum livelihood in them to know to attack back you know when the armor falls off it usually poofs away in that blue fire that we're all so familiar with so think about iron knuckles in the context of not like a necromancer is controlling them but they're kind of like they have somebody who's basically placed them here, and they are doing their best to guard a certain area. They don't have the intelligence to attack on sight. They only attack reactively. This is further backed up by the fact that 
it says the iron knuckle is an iron warrior he's literally made of iron there's no human in there so just to recap real quick like if we take a look at the line he exists in many forms that would kind of imply that there is one hive mind or magical entity controlling or at least you know putting into play inhabiting if you will all of these iron knuckles that's why they don't attack you first they don't really care they don't have a beef with you but any who's it's what let me know what you think of the theory down below this one was a little bit more out there i understand but hey it's fun to theory craft and i want to know some of your theories in the comments below real quick i'd like to give a shout out to my patrons george kasner the third mark comer emai and milanus they have been so awesome as to support me on Patreon, and I'd like to give them a shout out a thousand times if I could, but anyway, you are more than welcome to check out some of my other theories. They will be linked in the description or on screen sometime. God damn it, Navi! If you'd like to check out some of my other theories, they will be linked on screen or in the description below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, I'm Newborn Keelik, and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.